I'm sure most of you have probably heard of Penhurst before, but in case you haven't, here's a quick history of the place. The Penhurst State School and Hospital was an institution for mentally and physically disabled people in Pennsylvania that was founded in 1908. The institution was closed down in 1987 due to the harsh treatment of the patients. There was even a point in which nine employees were charged with slapping and beating patients and making some of the patients assault each other. Anyway, in 2010, Penhurst was reopened as a haunted attraction, which remains as today, although there are also plans to make it a museum. So in 2013, two videos were posted to a channel named Random Video Circus that were titled Penhurst Found Footage. According to the backstory behind these videos, in May of 2008, two college students went to Penhurst to look around. Their camera was found inside the building, but the two college students have never been found to this date. This topic has been covered by some other popular YouTubers, including the Spanish YouTuber Dross. This was also talked about by Nuke's Top 5, who claimed that this found footage video was actually legitimate. But I have to disagree on that, and you'll see why in a moment. First, let's take a look at the videos. At the start of the first video, we can see that it begins on May 4th, 2008, at about 3.27 p.m. 30 seconds into the video, we can see the face of the guy who is recording all of this. Penhurst. Further into the video, at about 2 minutes, we can hear him talking to a girl that is with him. I'm in the side room. Where, over here? The girl hardly ever actually appears in the video, and the few times we do see her, she's very blurry, so we can't really make out what she looks like. Most of the video is just the two of them messing around and having some fun. <laughs> yep, that's all the work we've done today. At 3.47 p.m., which would be about 20 minutes into their trip, part one of the video ends. Part two begins where part one left off, and it really isn't much different than part one. We get a little more information about the girl in this part though. We can see a couple more slightly clearer pictures of her, although still not that clear. And we also discover that her name is Jessica when the guy mockingly calls out her name in a creepy voice. Jessica. Jessica. At 8 minutes and 34 seconds into the video, there's a sudden jump cut that shows a video out in the woods for one second, but the timestamp shows it was taken only 33 seconds after the previous clip. After this video cuts out, then for less than a second, we see a black screen with the date and time as May 5th, 2008 at 8.07pm, more than a day after the previous clip. So as I mentioned before, according to the myth, this video was found inside the Penhurst building and the two college students were never found after this. If there is one thing that makes this somewhat realistic, it's the fact of how dull it is. Normally in found footage hoaxes, there will be something dramatic that happens such as someone being chased away by a killer or a creature or something like that. Yet in this video, the only thing odd that happens is the last couple seconds and even those last few seconds aren't really that creepy. It mainly relies on the backstory. There were a few immediate red flags that should indicate this is not real right off the bat. First of all, we aren't given an identity for any of the people in this video. The most we are given is the name Jessica. So if these people haven't even been identified, then how could someone have known that they were college students and that they were never found? Not only that, but no matter how hard you look, you will never be able to find any news article or anything that references two people going missing at Penhurst in 2008. You'd think this would be a pretty big thing if there's absolutely zero news coverage of it. 
That now leaves the question as to who made the video and who these people are if it's a hoax. Well, as stated before, these are the two people that we have seen in the video. I was not able to find out exactly who the girl in the video is, but I think I have a pretty good idea of who the guy in the video is. I'm almost certain the guy in the video is just the creator of the YouTube channel. Here is a picture of the creator of this YouTube channel that I just took from one of his other videos. Although the quality of the Penner's video was pretty bad, I can see the resemblance between the two. Just to be sure, we can also compare their voices to see if they're similar. Here's a small clip of the man in the Penhurst video speaking. Penhurst. It is scary down here. Yeah, but it'll eat up the battery. And here's a small clip of the creator of the YouTube channel speaking. What is up, YouTube family? This is Matt with Random Video Circus. And I really debated doing a video such as this, but I figured... I think they both look and sound similar, and the fact it's posted on this channel is not a coincidence. For even further proof of this, the creator of this channel has a video where he visited Crystal Cave, which is in Pennsylvania, the same state that Penhurst is located. Although he does have videos taken in other places such as Maryland and Delaware, these states are also very close to Pennsylvania, so it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume this guy could easily make his way to Penhurst. Once you combine the lack of any news coverage of this, and the identity of the guy in the Penhurst video, it becomes pretty obvious these two people in the video never went missing. Whether he was intentionally trying to fool people, or if it was just a short film of sorts, I don't really know, but I'm a little surprised at the amount of people bringing up the video as if it were legitimate. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.